All right, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, bless. Hey, this 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain O'Shia. Soldier, you're right. And look, y'all, today's topic is uh, 1 John 3, dissecting Christianity, being born of God. Being born of God. So this, uh, the first part of the dissecting Christianity series. Let's read, let's open up with 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Read. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us. Then hold on, hold on. Go back, read it a little slower, read. Behold, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us. Bestow upon us. Bestow upon us. The us here is the Israelites. Keep going. That we should be called the sons of God. That we should be called the sons of God. Let's see who the sons of God is. Go to uh, Hosea chapter 1 verse 11. Maybe 10. Hosea chapter 1 verse 11. Hosea. Let's see who the sons of God is in this country. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. You hear that the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Read. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in a place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Because the world say that we are not God's people. Matter of fact, the world say that we, so-called African-American men, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the Gentiles, that we are the heathens. But he said in that place that we should be what? Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. We are the sons of the living God. So when John said, read that again. And then look, we're going to really prove this. Read that again. First John chapter 3 verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us. Us is the Israelites, read that we should be called the sons of God. Now, let me get even more proof of that. Let me go to Romans 9, verse 25. Just to show you that these sons of God that you're reading about in 1 John 3 and 1, this is talking about the children of Israel. Let's get even more proof. Let's see what Paul said. Read. Romans chapter 9, verse 25. As he said also in O.Z., I will call now, them. Now, I'm talking about Hosea. I will call them my people, which were not my people. Then why? Because God said up there, he rejected the northern kingdom of Israel, read. And her beloved, which was not my beloved. Read. And it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. You hear that? Read on. Isaiah also cried. Isaiah's. Also cried concerning Israel. Cried concerning who? Israel. So that's who the sons of the living God is. That's who the children of the living God is. Israelites, read on. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. So you see that? Hosea prophesied it. Isaiah prophesied it. And now you're hearing John sitting up there uh, bringing forth the prophecies that were spoken by the prophets before him. First John 3 and 1 again. First John chapter 3 verse so 1. So the sons of the living of God, y'all, they're talking about the children of Israel. Read Behold, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Read on. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. Just like a lot of people right now. We are the sons of God, but it don't appear what we should be. A lot of y'all still look at us as niggas. Gang numbers, y'all think we don't got no job. Y'all think we just out there on the uh, streets just uh, spreading hate and things like that. But guess what? What you gonna find out? That we the sons of the living God. It might not appear that we the sons of God right now, but you will see when Christ returns. Read on. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Read on. And every man that have this hope in him, Purify of himself, even as he is pure. Read. Whosoever commit a sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. The say sin is the breaking and violating of God's law. Now we're going to go into the topic, being born of God. Are you really born of God? 
we gonna see. Because a lot of you Christians say you're born of God, you say you're born again, but the scriptures say, whosoever committed sin transgressing also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Read on. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Christ was manifested to take your sins away. In him is no sin. Christ came to be an example that you should follow his steps, that he did no sin. A lot of you Christians, you willingly break God's laws, you eat unclean food, you sell, uh, serve, uh, celebrate pagan holidays. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all, you are you, uh, drug addicts, you smoke addicts, you get abortions. You do everything that's against the uh, commandments of God. You commit fornication, you shave your face butt naked, your sisters wear revealing clothing. Are you really born of God? Christ was manifested to take those sins away from you because in him it is, it is no sin. Read up. Whosoever abided in him, sin of not. If you abide in Christ, you won't sin. You won't continue to break the laws of God. Read up. Whosoever sin of have not seen him. That's why a lot of y'all, when we try to sit up there and show you the true image of Christ, according to what the Bible say, and when I'm saying I show you the true image of Christ, I ain't talking about that image that we're standing out there with on the streets. I'm talking about opening up the Bible to Revelation chapter 1, showing you how Christ looked according to uh, the, the Holy Scriptures, according to the revelation that he gave to John, which is signified by his angel. Read up. Whosoever sent him have not seen That's him. That's why you ain't seen him, because you're still in sin. You don't want to repent. Read on. Neither known him. And you don't know him neither. Why? Because you're in sin. You keep breaking his laws. Read on. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. It say, read that again. Little children, let no man deceive you. Read. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. Even as he is righteous. Because a lot of y'all you think you're righteous. He said, don't let no man deceive you. He that do it righteousness is righteous. Let's see what it means to be righteous. Deuteronomy 6 verse 25. He that do it righteousness is righteous. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. You see that? That's what it means to be righteous. To do the commandments. Go back to where you was at. First John chapter 3 verse 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. Don't let no man deceive you. Don't let no pastor deceive you, read. He that do righteousness. He that do it righteousness. He that do it the commandments, read. Is righteous. He is the one that's righteousness. Read. Even as he is righteous. Read on. He that committed sin. He that committed sin. Sin is what? According to 1 John 3 and 4. It's the transgression of the law. If you break God's laws, he that committed sin is what? It's of the devil. You are of the devil. It's time for you Christians to wake up. It's time for you Christians to repent, come back to the laws of God. You have not been born again and you are not born of God. Read on. For the devil sent him from the beginning. Read. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifest. This is why Christ came to do what? That he might destroy the works of the devil. Read on. Whosoever is born of God, do not commit sin. If you're born of God, you won't continue to break his law. If you sisters born of God, you won't continue to wear pants, according to Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. If you men born of God, you won't continue to shave your face butt naked and make baldness on your head according to the commandments of God. You won't continue to eat unclean food according to the commandments of God. If you're born of God, read on. For his seed remain in him. Because his seed remain in him, meaning what? It is not God nature to sin. God nature is all righteous. So if you're born of God, it ain't your nature to break his law. Read on. And he cannot sin. Read. Because he is born of God. He won't continue in sin. Why? Because he's born of God. He knows that it's against his nature. Because God is naturally righteous. God is not evil. Read on. And this the children of God are manifest. And this the children of God are manifest. Read. And the children of the devil. So you can tell who the children of God is and you can tell who are the children of Satan. Read on. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. If you don't do righteousness, if you're not doing the commandments, 
read? It's not of God. You are not of God. Read on. Neither he that love him not his brother. Neither him that love it not his brother. So you gotta ask yourself, are you really born of God? Because if you ain't keeping the commandments, you are not born of God. If you're born of God, you will not continue in sin. Why? Because his seed remaining in you. It's against your nature. It's against not God's nature for you to be a adulterer. It's against God's nature for you to be a fornicator. It's against God's nature for you to steal, to be a gangbanger, to be a drug dealer. It's against God's nature for you to eat unclean food if you're born of him. Because if you're in God, is no sin. In him, it is no sin. All right, go from another 1 John 2, verse 29. 1 John chapter 2, verse 29. If ye know that he is righteous. If you know that he is righteous, listen. Ye know that everyone is doing righteousness. Everyone that doing righteousness, read. Is born of him. So you got to ask yourself, are you born of God? Give me 1 Peter 1, verse 23. Yeah, 23, 23. 1 Peter's. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. You gotta be born again, not of corruptible seed. Read. But of incorruptible. But incorruptible, read. By the word of God, which live and abide forever. So are you really born again? Are you born of God? Hey, you Christians need to really sit back and take time to look at your walk. Look at your walk and see if you really doing what God commanded you to do. See if you're really born again. Is you born again? Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed. With that, y'all, that's 15 minutes with the captains. Uh, dissecting Christianity part one, being born again. And hey, y'all stay focused, stay strong. Most high Christ bless. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.